Here we go, starting to dig a hole. That makes it so much more easier. Nice to see it done that way and sure happy that red here has got the connection. Yeah, he's got three, four scoops right there. Hell, I think I'd have been probably digging for an hour already. Yeah. Yeah, it's always uh, amazed me, you know, when somebody, you know, operating equipment and, you know, they've been doing it and they know how to do it and, you know, it's just efficient and, you know, no wasted, uh, you know, energy or movement. It just goes right down. See, there you have a good example, you know, this high desert. And you get down that first foot on the surface, you get down there, and it's sand. So, you know, it's going to come up easy. There's no big rocks or nothing in a way. It's just sand. Yeah, it'll make it real handy to burn all this stuff. Cause I'll be burning on it for, you know, intermittently. It's not gonna all burn one day. Burn some, you know, and then come back to it, you know, next day or could be off and on for, you know, a few weeks, especially after I drop down and get some more limbs and cut and breathe down. Shit, I might even leave this here the way it sits. I know, I know Rick Fisher, one of the other neighbors down the road from me, he's just got a, a standing burn pit. And I've seen another guy down on the road uh, on the other side. He's got his old piece of equipment and he's got just a standing hole sitting there in the side of his yard. So yeah. Yeah, look at that, taking that shovel and that claw and just moving all that scrap over, just pushing it. I didn't have that, that last little tree popped out of there, I didn't have that on the video, but he just got the bucket and the claw on there and he just, he just pulled it out of the ground. <laughs> Root ball and everything. <laughs> just came right up. how dry that ground is. Yeah. Even after you water it, it doesn't soak in, it's just evaporates. Okay. Yeah, once I get all this uploaded, then of course uh, the reason I'm taking this is so I can, you know, get it up on YouTube and uh, share it with all you guys and, yeah. I mean, I got no idea. Red could probably tell me right here because he's standing beside me, but if I had to contract somebody to do this, I suspect this might go for a few hundred dollars. Yeah, this is basically a minimum charge. Like, well, I don't even know what it is anymore, but it, 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 it's 150 at least, if not more. But, yeah. Well, yeah. 100, 150 at least. They got, it used to, it used to be that it was a minimum two hour charge. Oh. No matter if it took 15 minutes. They, they charge $100 just to unload the machine, most of them. Wow. Neil's not that way. So, I mean, uh, he likes Coors Light, and what kind of jug does he have? I can't remember. Huh. I know he's drinking black milk and stuff like that. 